Hello, Jester Good here, and today we're taking another look at the 1UP subscription box. This is the April 2017 box, and this was sent to me by 1UP Box themselves. I want to give my honest opinion, and if you guys want to order 1UP Box, which is filled with gaming loot, which is what they told me to say, you could go and get it for $10 for the first month by putting the code AWESOME while you're at the checkout. But it's $13 plus $7 shipping each other month, so 20 bucks every other month, which let's see if it's worth it, okay? I'm going to judge it off of that price, not the initial $10 price. All right. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I don't even know what any of these characters are just by the first. I guess this is Crossbones. Yeah, Crossbones from Marvel. We got a plushie for him. You know, not really the most popular character. But it's a Mopies, and you can see Mopies plush. But uh, isn't this supposed to be like a gaming box? Why are you throwing in some Marvel characters? That was the same as the last one where we got some Adventure Time and Ninja Turtles characters. I don't understand. Uh, oh, this is our our, our chibi uh, little lanyard of the month. We got uh, Avatar, the last airbender. You could see, you know, honestly, I don't mind the design on this one. I guess the chibi for this one kind of makes sense because it is... Supposed to be styled like an anime, the actual TV show itself. You know, the Western cartoon. Good Western cartoon at that. Really do like the Avatar The Last Airbender show. Uh, you got some Guardians of the Galaxy, it seems like, a little watch right here. Since this comes at the end of April for many, I guess that's kind of fitting of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And there you go. You could set your time just like that. And it's a, like a... Very, I guess, a uh, basic digital watch. And when I say basic, I mean cheap. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, we got our mashup of the month. Woohoo. This time, our two random characters, or sorry, wait, we got three, is Jack Sparrow, because, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie is coming out soon, so you just had to throw him in. Groot, because, you know, the Marvel movie is coming out soon, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, actually not coming out soon, it came out two days ago. And... I think from uh, the last airbender doing some water bending. Why are these all together? I mean, it's just, it's such a weird mashup. It was like the freaking last one with like Rocket Raccoon, which they're still celebrating Guardians of the Galaxy then, and, and Sonic, and I don't even know, dude. Let's see what else is in here. To be or not to be. Okay, so we got, we got a lot of Disney stuff. We got the Marvel, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh... Our pin, it's Aang as a panda, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand it. I love this. Look at this. This little key ring part or something has fallen out of some design. I don't even know. Maybe that fell out from the watch. <laughs> All right, so it says this one is one up box action. And you can see they have uh, Black Panther there, Jack Sparrow, I don't know, maybe Black Widow, uh, Aang, and Groot. So you got one of four Marvel Collection Mopies, uh, and these are cute on the outside, but inside they're deadly. So I got the most boring character, most unrecognizable character out of all of them, uh, Crossbones. And the To Be or Not To Be sticker, of course, with uh, Jack Sparrow. The Elements Lanyard, which I probably think is the best thing out of this whole thing, um, even though it looks a little bit too light for me. I'll probably give that to a friend who wears stuff like that, you know, one of the anime friends. An exclusive Galaxy Watch, uh, you know, for Guardians of the Galaxy. And it tells you how to set that up. And a Pirate Nation exclusive t-shirt. You know, trying to avoid all those copyright things by not saying the exact names. But I guess they are kind of in cahoots with Disney because, you know, they got the Marvel Mopies. Or maybe they're in cahoots with this brand right here. Mopies, Moppies, whatever the heck you want to call them. You know what's funny? This is supposed to be gaming loot. There was absolutely no original video game stuff in here. Right? I don't know. This is just a confusing box. I think that's going to be the title. You guys probably saw it. The Marvel, or what is this? The the, the April 2017 1UP box is confusing. I mean, you just get a lot of stuff you don't ask for. And that's really my loot crate in subscription box verdict with a lot of these. Is I don't need another watch. Um, especially one that's like a basically a dollar store watch. I don't need a pin. I don't need a, a, a plush of crossbones, but you get it, so that's your thing, you know. It's hard to be so harsh on this one because I didn't pay any money. Like, the Loot Crate one legitimately angered me, but I can't say this one's really better than that because they really don't give you any uh, exclusive 
interesting products. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think the Mopies are exclusive. Maybe the Lanyard's exclusive, but, like, you could custom print Lanyard for, like, five bucks at most. I mean, it's... This is just really not interesting. But if this is your thing, you know, go to that link because Just Too Good gets a little bit of that, you know, incentive out of it. But my honest opinion, yeah, I don't like this. I don't care for this. And they're just throwing random stuff that isn't even video game related at this point. So that's it for the 1UP box of April 2017. I know you guys may be mad in the comments. Some of you guys may like it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't really done any of the subscription box lately. I'll do them more in, like, July and August. So stay tuned for that. We'll hit up some more LEGO ones. Maybe 1UP box will keep sending these, and I'll keep doing that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.